This video tutorial will walk you through all you need to know to get your TechPlot360 Basics certification. All the information needed to get your certificate is on our website. Use the latest release, complete the training, and upload evidence of the completed plot. Your certificate will be sent after approval. Now, let's get started learning how to use TechPlot360. Launch TechPlot360 and you will be presented with the welcome screen. Click the Load Data File icon in the toolbar or in the welcome screen. The Load Data window pops up. TechPlot supports numerous data loaders. Select the Fluent Data Loader from the list. Select all of the Fluent files in order to load them all at once into TechPlot360. Hit Ctrl A to quickly select all files. Click Open and your data is now loaded into TechPlot360. Shading is applied by default onto the surfaces once the data is loaded. TechPlot recognizes distinct regions of data as separate zones. Each zone can be visualized in a different way and can be selected with a single click. The most common features are available with a right click of the mouse. In order to explore the volume, we need to deactivate the shading of the outer surfaces. Select the multiple outer surfaces by shift clicking. Then, right-click and turn off the shading by clicking the Shading icon. A more advanced setup of the visualization can be found in the Zone Style dialog, accessible in the Plot sidebar. The Zone Style dialog consists of a table with the zones as rows and the visualization parameters as columns. A set of tabs allows access to parameters for each type of visualization. Activate the edges by toggling on the Edge option in the Plot sidebar. You can define the display of the edges according to the geometry by setting the Edge Type to Creases in the Edge tab. Hit Ctrl A to select and apply this to all zones. The geometry is now delimited by black edges. It is now time to explore the data results. We will display a pressure contour on a wall boundary. Then, we will explore the volume using isosurfaces, slices, and stream traces. First, display a pressure contour onto the flap. Once again, using the right-click context menu and click the contour icon. A pressure contour should appear on the flap. Contour definition can be achieved by clicking Details, next to Contour in the plot sidebar. The Contour and Multicoloring Details dialog opens. This dialog allows you to define up to eight contour groups from the variables in the dataset. The visualization options can then be adjusted within the different tabs. An isosurface can be defined by clicking the associated details button in the plot sidebar. In the isosurface details dialog, set the value 1 at negative 1346. The other options can be left as default. In order to display the defined isosurface, Toggle on isosurfaces in the plot sidebar. Slices can be positioned by clicking the interactive slicing tool icon. Click anywhere on the geometry to interactively position your slice. To change the slice plane, simply press X, Y, or Z on your keyboard. Opening the slice details dialog allows for a more precise definition of a slice. Position a slice on the Y plane at y equals negative 0.025. You can position stream traces by selecting the Add a Single or Rake of Stream Traces tool. You will be prompted to confirm your velocity variables if you have not done so already. Seed a rake of stream traces onto the slice by clicking and dragging. Seed one stream trace onto the isosurface with a single click. There are additional options for seeding stream traces in the Stream Trace Details dialog. This dataset is a transient study and is composed of multiple time steps. The video like player controls in the plot sidebar allow you to explore the different time steps. In an upcoming step, we will be using the slice as an independent zone. This slice can be extracted by selecting Data, Extract, Extract Slices Over Time. In the Zone Style dialog, a new slice zone should appear. You can save the way you are visualizing a dataset in Frame, Save Frame Style. Save your style sheet as 3dplotview.sty. Saving a style sheet allows you to save time when loading another dataset to be visualized the same way. 
In TechPlot, it is possible to work with numerous pages and frames. In TechPlot 360, a page is a container for any number of frames, each of which is a container for a plot. To create a new page, simply click the Add button in the Pages sidebar. If the Pages sidebar is not displayed, you can view it in View, Pages sidebar. You can rename a page by double-clicking its name in the Pages sidebar. Name the first page 3D Overview and the second 3D, 2D, XY line plots. In the newly created 3D, 2D, XY line plots page, in the plot sidebar, you can set the plot style from sketch to 3D Cartesian. The frame is automatically populated with the data. To easily recreate the same visualization style in both pages, load the previously saved style sheet under Frame, Load Frame Style. Let's add a second frame to the page by clicking the Create a New Frame icon in the toolbar. Simply click and drag to define the extent of the frame. The frame can be moved and resized by clicking its borders. Set the plot type of your new frame to 2D Cartesian. Then, go to the Zone Style dialog and select the zone corresponding to the slice. Right-click the Show Zone column and select Show Selected Only. The default 2D axes are XY, but the slice is in the Y plane, so the frame appears empty. To change the 2D Cartesian axis, select Plot, Assign XY, and choose X and Z. Click OK and the shaded slice should appear. Right-click the slice and activate a pressure contour and the vectors. When prompted to provide the vector variables, change the v-vector to the z-velocity variable to match the z-axis. We will now create a third frame with an automatically created xy line plot. In the Tools menu, choose Probe to Create Time Series Plot. Then, click on any location on the slice. A new frame will appear already populated with an xy line plot. This plot represents the evolution of pressure versus time. The mapping can be modified and other mappings can be displayed by clicking the Mapping Style button in the Plot sidebar. An easy way to organize frames is to tile them. In the menu Frame Tile Frames, choose the Favor Horizontal Aspect Ratio icon. Your frames should now appear one over the other. As you can see, the contours between the frames are not identically defined. Similarly, if you select the first frame, and change the time step, the changes will only affect the first frame. It is possible to link frames together in the menu Frame Frame Linking. The Set Links for Active Frame dialog opens. Toggle Solution Time and Contour Levels on and click Apply Settings to All Frames of this group. You can now see that the frames have the same contours and are displayed on the same time step. You can change the axis orientation in the 2D frame by double-clicking the x-axis. The Axis Details dialog opens. In the Range tab, toggle on Reverse Axis Direction. The x-axis is now reversed. TechPlot allows you to perform calculations with your data. The Equations dialog can be opened by clicking the Specify Equations icon in the toolbar or, alternatively, use the Data, Alter, Specify Equations menu. We will calculate the velocity magnitude using the following equation, where u, v, and w are the three components of the velocity vector. Please make sure that the three velocity components are correctly defined in plot, vector, variables. Use the following syntax to define the equation. Now, go back to the 3D Overview page and open the Slice Details dialog. You can define a second group of slices by clicking on the button at the top. Toggle on Show Group 2 and define a slice on the x-plane at x equals negative 0.06. You can right-click the newly created slice and color it by the second contour group. Now, close the Slice Details and open the Contour Details dialog. Define the second contour group with the variable velocity magnitude. Change the contour coloring to grayscale. 
your new slice is now colored by the velocity magnitude in a grayscale. Before exporting your results, you can arrange the layout. Each item can be selected and moved to another position. If you are planning to take the certification test, you will need an export of your result. Please write your name on the 3D overview page by drawing a text box. Then export the active frame under File Export. In the Export menu, set the export format to PNG and toggle on the anti-aliasing option. The export region must be the current frame. Include your name in the file name of the image. This concludes the tutorial for the TechPlot360 Basics certification. Thank you for watching.